Opening ceremonies for the 54th Annual All-Native Basketball Tournament took place at Prince Rupert's Jim Ciccone Civic Center last Sunday. This year, the honor of opening the tournament went to the Kigatla Nation. Led by Warren Nelson, Kigatla drummers and dancers performed before a sold-out auditorium at the Russell Gamble Gymnasium. The trip consisted of multiple generations from 4 to 70 years old. Gamble said they included practically the entire nation so that every other community could see what they were all about. The excitement went into full swing as this year's procession of athletes entered the gymnasium. In total, 53 teams from around the province entered this year's tournament. But the real crowd pleaser was the arrival of the five surviving members of the KEC team in the first only basketball tournament in 1960. In our days, there was that many towns. It mostly be the natives. You know, just close around the area. But now you can get a team way down back to where they are in Vancouver Island. 2013 marks the 20th anniversary of the inclusion of Masters and Women's Divisions. Since doing this, this has only strengthened the popularity of the tournament. The crowd has almost doubled on this. Just the first day, there was only four, eight games. Four Inside, and it's just like we had overtime in one game, and it's just like a semi final game, and it was just the first day, and just like so overwhelming just to see that. To help kick off the tournament, 10 games were played Sunday in the run up to the opening ceremonies. Here, Prince Rupert Rain tipped off against the Canyon City Wildcats. The Rain suffered a disappointing loss of 56 to 66 in an otherwise very close match. Wildcats came back strong in the last quarter to take advantage of what rain coach Sonny Henry called poor judgments on defense. In the senior division, the King Cole Suns narrowly defeated Massive 41-39 in a highly physical match. For all the latest scores at this year's ANT, check out thenorthernview.com.